Hi everyone, I know Scarlett isn't in the picture today. Um, I'll probably post a little clip of her at the end, um, but right now I wanted to get this video up because I was receiving a lot of questions on products that I use for grooming them, for brushing them, and you know, her care. Um, so I'm going to quickly go over the items that I use on a daily basis and that I have, you know, used when I bathe her and etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So, I have a drawer and like those plastic bins and this is what it looks like. I'm going to set it off to the side because I don't want to show you everything at once. Okay, so number one is a slicker brush. Um, those are the ones that have the little fine cones the fine little bristles in between. Sorry, it's a little dirty. I was brushing her earlier. Um, but these are good like when their hair is matted up or like right now when it's winter or fall and you know their hair gets like sticks and stuff like that, leaves. and This is good to get in their coat and brush them down. You always want to use this carefully and gently. It will, you don't want to, it will tug on their hair and you do not want to obviously, you know, pull too hard or hurt you know your dog so these are really really good item and, and most of these items I've got them at PetSmart so you'll be able to find them and if I see anything that I didn't I'll be able to put down in the description bar everything else okay the other thing are combs combs to me are the best type to use on Yorkies a regular brush or a slicker is actually not all that great for them. This one is just kind of when their hair is already dry just to brush them out and you know tame their hair and stuff like that but in general these two I do not recommend. I recommend the comb. Um, Yorkies do not have hair like we do. Their coats are actually like human hair. So what happens if we brush our hair with a brush all the time or if we use a slicker brush or something like that? Obviously our hair would break and it damages it. Same thing for Yorkies. That's why I also have this other brush that's a little bit more wide open and this one is kind of um, to take off some of their tangles. And this is from Top Paw, um, but this one's good as well. But in my happy world, a comb. Um, this one I start off detangling her with the wide side and then to get deep in there I go with the smaller side. Um, but this is a great comb. This actually came in a set from Yorkie Splash and Shine. Um, I can put a description like I said in the bottom bar with all the information to that but this is a great comb and this one is metal and heavy and durable and it's lasted for a very good time. And even to clean these up it's easier because you just take off the hair and you get equal parts water and alcohol, dip it in there and it cleans it up really, really well. So I love, love these. Okay, so another great item to have on hand is a flea comb. Um, not necessarily because they have fleas or because, you know, they have something. No, I actually use these on the corner of like their eyes to scoop away the little goopies and make sure that all the debris and stuff around their eyes is taken away. Um, obviously you have to be extremely careful. You don't want to poke their eye or hurt them, you know, cause a lesion or something like that. But these work great for that. Um, and these are also helpful if you want to just pull on something extra little hair or there's something extra in there that you can't get off with even a comb. These are very, very handy, but I highly recommend to have those. Another great product to have on stock with Yorkies, um, I have several detangling sprays. Um, this one is from Yorkie Splash and Shine. This is my preferred one. Um, they use a lot of all natural products and this is a really good brand. I haven't ordered, I haven't been able to get to doing that, but I'm soon going to be placing an order. But they have the shampoo, conditioner, and it is really, really good. Just make sure when you do use any of the products, just shake them. Um, since they are, I believe, made at home and they're natural, um, you got to ensure to do that. The other detangling spray, this is from the Martha Stewart Pet Collection um, spray. You just spray this after they take, you know, you give them a bath or you want to brush them out or something. You just spray this down over them, lightly coat it, and then just start brushing. Um, make sure you don't get any of these products either or in their eyes. You don't want to irritate their eyes. 
The next products that you can have on hand are fragrance sprays. These are from Top Paw. You can find them at PetSmart as well. This is Vanilla Sugar Strawberry Banana Smoothie. This Yorkie Splash and Shine Finishing Spray and Detangler actually works as the same thing as a fragrance spray. So it has detangling, finishing spray, and the scent. And this one smells so, so good. By far my favorite. You will not hear me rant and rave about it, but I know it can get a little... It's not too pricey, but if you want something more accessible and rather than having to wait, you know, till the mail and all that, definitely try these out from PetSmart. They're really, really good. Obviously, you don't drench them when you spray them down. You just gently coat their hair, their coat, and brush them down to help. The other thing that I recommend you investing on is a good pair of nail clipping uh, scissors. This can be very tricky um, cutting a dog's nails. Some of them have the white clear tip nail so you can see where their vein starts and the nail ends. Um, it's kind of like our human nails. You know, if you have long nails, you can see where to cut, but with them, some of them have black or dark nails so you can't see where the skin is and you can cut them in a vein. So that can cause bleeding. There's some products over the counter or asking your vet that helps when you do trim the nails to prevent any further bleeding and to stop it. I've never had any of those issues. Just be really, really careful when you do cut their nails. And this is also from PetSmart. Okay. So before I get into this little box. So before I show what's in this box, I'm going to show you these scissors. These are little, the ones that have teeth on one side and it's flat on the other. These are just kind of like to um, reduce like the hair amount, like a trimmer to cut it straight. Um, I use these around their the top of their nose and always if you're going to cut around close to their eyes, it's cut downward and away from their eye. You don't ever want to cut upward and cause, you know, something because they can move or, you know, jerk and you can hurt them. So use these types and these are great for keeping their hair trimmed down okay so in here I have this big box um, but it's basically the same thing so I'm just gonna open this one um, this is some of her bows these are not all of it and I've just had them in here for a while so when you're gonna ask me about the bands I use and stuff like that these are all from a Canadian shop I cannot remember so these are just some of the bows that she does use. Um, I can put down in the description box where I got all of these. They're so cute and they're really good quality. But I will show you the elastic bands. Now these are the non-latex bands and these you can order them off of eBay and Amazon. There's a lot of different places and they sell you like in bulk. These are the rubber bands. Um, they're the small ones and then the larger ones. Um, these are used when you do a top knot, obviously always being very careful, smoothing out every little hair strand, making sure not to pull too much on their hair and their head and pulling back their eyes, but these are the ones that you use. Um, I have a whole video of me giving her a bath and how I do a top knot on her, but these are the items that I use for her. With a Yorkie's coat, I will go now into detail about their coat. Their coat does change. When you get them as a puppy, they usually have a little white spot on their chest and then they're black with white and then you can pull their hair apart and you may see like tan, you may see gold, you may see silver. So for those of you who don't know, to clarify, Yorkies do not come in any gray color. It is actually silver color or gold color, black or a little bit of white and tan. I know there is a party Yorkie which has obviously white and black and some other markings on it. Um, and some are smooth coated and some are silky. So just do your study before you do that and even when you get the paperwork for AKC it specifies at the bottom the colors and the types that they have that. And I'm going to put all this information about their coats and about their information on that in my in the coordinating blog for Scarlet yorkshire.com if you want to check that out um, and I will go ahead and talk more about their coats in a future video 
uh, but yes their coat does change and it does not fully stay one color till they're about two to three years old after that you will see the permanent hair color so it's just kind of something to keep an eye out for so anyways I'm gonna cut this video now I don't want to make it super long but I just wanted to share this information and her grooming products and the stuff that I do use um, the conditioner and the shampoo that I do use for her are from this brand they're the Yorkie uh, splash and shine or yorkyshampoo.com and I'm gonna put a description down below of all the items that I mentioned here and whatever I can I'll at least leave the name and more or less where I got it so if you want to look for it so anyway thank you so much for watching this video I know like I said Scarlett isn't here in this video but I promise in the next video she will just wanted to really get this information up for you all so anyways thank you so much for watching I hope you all have a great day and I'll talk to you soon bye everyone